Hello everyone, welcome to Photo Focus. I am your host, Melissa New, and in this segment of What's in Your Bag, we are with the ever-talented aviation and wildlife photographer, Mr. Moose Peterson. How Thanks are you? Thanks for having you? me. Doing yeah. real good, and you? Good, yeah. welcome to Las Vegas. Hey, Vegas, oh yeah. <laughs> so, where the moose loves to be. Really? Oh, I know, I can only imagine. Let's talk about something. When you have, you're out in the wild. Mm -hmm. What is your go-to? If you know that you've got something that is fast and moving and you have to be patient for that creature or whatever it is that, that's coming out, what, what do you go to? What's your go-to? It's actually a common question. People say, if you had only one lens. Sure. But I never have just one lens. It's like any carpenter. You never go through a project with one hammer uh -huh. or one saw, yeah. right? Because otherwise, what you're constructing, mm -hmm. Not a whole lot of variance, and it's not you. So I have a number of tools. Okay. Um, and Let's so, talk about that's a good word. Let's talk about tools. Yeah. So that's when when I go though. out for something, it's never that benign. Mm -hmm. I'm going out for a very targeted something, be a very specific species. Wow. Okay. Kid fox, kangaroo, rat. Okay. Bird. Whatever it is, it's a very specific something. Hmm. So I'm gonna have the one tool for that. It's 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 never a guesswork. Um, and because I've been doing it for, for almost 40 years, there is no guess, okay? Wow. Um, which is the challenge of someone starting out. Yeah. Because when you start out, there's so many unknowns, and photographers are truly the most insecure people on the planet, okay? <laughs> totally insecure, right? Yeah. They're always second guessing. Mm -hmm. And in that process, they miss not only the great moment that you know keeps your heart going and passionate, sure. but that great shot. So if it's critters, the vast majority of the time, it's going to be my 800 5, 6, Okay. Which a lot of people go, wow, that's like the most expensive lens out there. That's which a beast. In, yeah. in, in a way it is. Yeah. But it's like any other profession. You know, if you're going in to have brain surgery, you don't want somebody in there with an X-Acto knife, right? And you don't want somebody who's been in, you know, for two, two years in a, in a community college. Oh, yeah. Right? So as you get to the higher levels, okay, you have to have the best tools because you're going to be wanting to always push yourself. Mm. If you don't push yourself, you don't grow photographically. So I've always had the best tools that I could afford at the time. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, Moose, where, where can we find your work? You talked about your website. And do you have a blog? Do you update I keep it? everything very simple. Do you? MoosePeterson.com. Okay. YouTube channel, Moose Peterson. You know, Easy. Twitter, Moose Peterson. Easy. Facebook, Moose Peterson. All right. So yeah, I use the KISS theorem. Okay. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. Mm -hmm. Moose Peterson, M O O S E Peterson. S O N. Yeah. S O N. All yep. right. Well, definitely check that out. And Moose talked a lot about different gear. Not everyone has the ability to purchase that big hunk of a 800 lens or the D4S, but you can lend. It. You can rent it at LensRentals.com. And I would definitely encourage you guys to check out Moose's work. It's beautiful. But not just his work, holy cow, you know a lot about animals. So I was very educated today, so thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks so much. <laughs>